Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm going to be heading in there. You can see this uh, this huge labyrinth. I should probably, like, look at it from above and try and work out the route. There's no way I'm going to remember the, the route for when I get in there. But yeah, I don't know what this thing is. It uh, looks like there's a shrine in the, the middle. It looks like a, a challenge that I can do to, to try and get some loot. So... I guess I just need to glide over to it, uh, I guess is the, the real way to do it. I don't know if I should have sprinted before I jumped, because that's just going to waste a load of my stamina. And oh no, there's wind blowing me back in this direction. Oh no, this is making me go really, really slowly through the, the sky, and I have a really big di distance to be able to, to make. I didn't know that there were those guardian things in there, those flying things. They weren't visible from far away. I might have had a, a few second thoughts about heading it. Oh, how many are there? There's like four of those things. Okay, they seem to just be kind of like scanning through all of the different corridors, but I'm going to need to have something to eat here. I'm going to have to get my my stamina up a, a little bit. I don't need too much. This should this should hopefully be enough to, to make it so I can last there. Fingers crossed. It's just this wind. Look, it's just really pushing me back and making it really slow. But this is a Lomea Labyrinth Island, apparently, is what it's called. Rather fancy name. I didn't realize how, how tall the, the walls are either. That wasn't visible. And look at that. Look at this for a perfect landing. And... And plop. <laughs> Perfect. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. Okay, is that? That's a guardian. That is a, an alive guardian. That is a, an alive and kicking guardian. <laughs> right, shall I see if I can just take it out now? Let's let's save the game and let's see if I can do the old, the old bang back shield tactic. I did it in the last episode successfully on my second attempt. So let's see if I can do it here. So I need to time it and go i did it oh okay i didn't take it out though i just got one good hit right if i back off okay no i was gonna save again after getting the the first hit but i need to, to do it again three two one and go i did it i did it again oh look at that i got two perfect knockbacks but now it's really chasing in close oh it, it, it just wasted one there can how much do bombs hurt Oh, bombs like do like nothing against it. Right, I need to get this again. Perfect. And there we go. No! No, that went wrong. That went wrong. Right, I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit to this uh, this fight though. Let's go and uh, and have something to, to eat. And right, let's see if I can get it again with the, the shield. And oh, I deflected it, but not at it. Oh no, my shield broke. My shield broke. My shield broke. Oh, I've already got a rubbish little wooden shield. I don't think this is even going to be like strong enough to deflect it. <laughs> I might have to... Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to get me. It's going to get me. Right, let's just run in and start hitting it. Let's just whack this thing. I got my flame sword. Is that doing much damage against it? I can't really tell. No, I think I'm doing literally no damage against it. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, why is it... I keep going to, to switch around the runes rather than what I need. Let's use this uh, this guardian battle axe. And this should do some damage. And there we go. I broke my shield, but I was able to I was able to destroy a guardian. I remember a day when those things... Oh, look at all this loot. Look at all the loot. That's amazing. I remember when I would never even consider going near one of those things. And I, I ran in with no fear and just charged straight after that thing. That was amazing. Right, I'm assuming I can't climb these walls then. Is it going to make me fall down? Oh no, I can climb the walls. I mean, is that is that allowed? <laughs> I feel like the 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 walls are made ridiculously high to stop you from being able to to climb. But look, if I look on the map, can I can I look? Oh, oh no, go back, go back, go back, go back, go to the back, go to the back to the map. So can I can I zoom? Oh, <laughs> let's let's zoom in and can I use the map to work out the route? I can. Okay, let's uh, let's do it this way then. So. Going that way won't help. What about going this way? Now, that seems to be a dead end there. Well, let's... Where, where where am I supposed to be ending up to? Going here? Or is that a dead end? I can't... I can't tell where the goal is. I'm assuming it's somewhere around here. But I don't know which part is actually the, the entrance to it. Maybe it's any of those sections. Hmm. It seems like maybe going down... So if I went down this way and kind of went up around the side there, that would lead me to there. So let's go in through this bottom entrance and try and wiggle around that way. That will at least get me closer to, to where the, the shrine is. Uh, and then I, I don't know I don't know where the goal is for, for this maze. There seems to be a few places. No, what are, are these just lights? Is there anything that these can do? Okay, they seem just uh, to be lights. I'm overthinking everything uh, in these puzzles. But yeah, if I enter this way, I can kind of see in the bottom right-hand corner of the, the screen, you can kind of... I see the the map there as well. It's quite it's quite small, <laughs> so it's quite difficult to, to watch it. Now, if you're watching on a phone or something right now, you could probably hardly see it at all. But it gives me a, a general idea of at least where I am in the the maze. So I want to loop around here and then go up 
this one here, I believe. And then I kind of need to keep trying to, to head to the, the right and going up the, the edge here, I think. This will this will at least get me close to, to where the, the shrine is. And then I'll see if I can fit my way in. Remember, though, there are those, those flying things around here. And it looks like there's a few kind of little hidey holes that you can sneak in if one of them do fly past. And oh, was that... This seems to have a bit of a crack in this wall. Do you think? Do you think I can blow up that wall? Do you think that's destroyable? Let me let me try throwing a bomb and doing it. That seems to be like a very obvious crack there. I don't know if this is, if this is me just overthinking it, but Okay, maybe I'm overthinking it. <laughs> if a bomb's not gonna blow it up, I don't know what else will, so let's keep heading this way. And oh! Wait a minute, what's this thing? Okay, looks like this isn't gonna be as uh, as simple as we uh, as we first thought. There's a giant block here. Oh, you don't think I'm, I'm going to need to collect these blocks up at some point and then use them to fly over somewhere? Let, let's not worry about carrying that now because I don't know I don't know where I need to carry it to or what for at the, the moment. So where am I here? I'm really close. So I need to go forward and right and then kind of left around that way. And then I should be at least next to, to where the, the shrine is. Maybe there's going to be like... Um, I keep climbing up the walls by accident. Maybe there's going to be pressure pads that I need to place those giant blocks on to, to open up a door or something at all. There's something around here. I can see you. <laughs> right, what is it? What do we have? Oh, it's almost like a, a flame thing. Well, I'm, I got my, my flame sword. That's probably not going to help me too much here. Right, let's not let this thing hit me. You've got to kind of hit it at range and whoop. Okay, it set me on fire anyway. Didn't do a crazy amount uh, of damage though. Looks like there are, there are more enemies around here. So, I mean, this is where I was trying to get to. If you look on the, the map, this is me right near that middle section. But, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way to get in. Oh, there is a, a really camouflaged chest down here, though. I don't know how I was able to, to see that with a pretty fancy-looking sword in it uh, as well. I'm going to mainly use two-handed weapons at the moment because the big benefit of using kind of single-handed things is that um, you can use a shield at the same time. And I got such a, a rubbish shield on me at the, the moment. I don't think it's going to make <laughs> that big of a, of a difference. So I feel like I might as well just use the, the two-handed ones. It does look like there are going to be uh, quite a, a few enemies in here that we're going to have to deal with. I might as well have um, something to, to eat and have uh, uh, like something to, to speed me up. I might as well have now. Seeing as, uh, seeing as I'm going to be running around a lot and I need to put my health up anyway, uh, I might as well have uh, something to, to eat. And I'm going to need to cook some more things to, to speed me up. Let's have... Oh, these ones don't last very long. Do I have any more? I really don't have very many of them, do I? Let's just go and have this one then. This will last three minutes and uh, pretty much put my, my health up to, to full. So... We're going to the, the very top back area of the, the labyrinth now. It, it's, it's difficult just because <laughs> I don't have a goal, really. I don't have a target that I'm trying to, to get to. So I'm kind of just literally wandering around on the, the inside. And oh, there's a, it's a bat. It's a, <laughs> it's a really weak little tiny bat. We might as well go and take that out. And oh, I'm, I'm in the, the middle square. No, look at that. I'm in the, the middle section now, apparently. Okay, may, maybe this was the, the place that I needed to, to try and get to. Where, where is the, the shrine, though? Um, stop climbing up the wall. He's just so enthusiastic about climbing up. Right, if you look where I am on the map, like, I'm right in the middle of this this big blob. I wonder if I can... Do I need to go under the ground somehow? Okay, so there's a roof over me at the, the moment. Do you think the shrine's above me? Ah! Okay, there is a, a big chest here. Is this going to have a key? Nope, just a, just a 100 rupees. I'll take it. <laughs> I do need 500 rupees for that great fairy fountain, don't I, at the, the moment? Right, this is um, this is a little bit puzzling. Then I mean, it's annoying because I found that big, that big blob, that big block, and I haven't done anything with it yet, and it kind of annoys me because I haven't, I haven't worked out why, why I need that thing yet. And there's all these little slimes. It seems like there are pretty weak enemies in here, but enemies all of the the same. And I've set my my club on fire as well now, and I've been electrocuted. <laughs> Let's switch over to a different weapon, shall we? Let's go and use... Oh, uh, the fire sword's nearly gone. We'll just use this Moblin Spear. Seeing as these enemies seem to be pretty weak anyway, I don't think it really matters too much what I, I use against these guys. And I can set my, my weapons on fire, which, which just looks cool. And whoa! Okay. Looks like there, there are a, a few more enemies down this way. Let's kind of just spam a bunch of bombs down here and take them out that way. I just don't want to get close to these ones. They're either going to set me on fire or electrocute me. Either way, it's going to it's gonna ruin my day. So I'd rather just stay back and, uh, <laughs> and deal the, the damage out that way. This one does seem to be a little bit tougher, though. But there we go. That's that one taken out. And then there's just this one big chubby slime at the, the end there as well. And stop... Link, stop climbing the walls. Like, you automatically climb the walls. If you don't know, if you just jump into them. 
you start climbing them automatically. I'm not, I'm, there's not a button I keep pressing to make me climb the walls. Link just is really enthusiastic about it. And to be fair, I am kind of considering that as, oh, I got, I got a bow. Oh, I can't carry any more of them. Let's uh, let's drop something rubbish and, uh, and pick that up then. Let's go and drop this one and go and grab up. Oh, get the king's bow. And I should equip it as well. I think I unequipped it because it was metal. So uh, we'll keep that uh, equipped for for now. Shall I just climb up to the, the top here then and just at least have a, a look from there? Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Like, I assume there would be a roof or, like, the the walls would be really slippy. But it seems like they're they're allowing me to just climb up the, the side. So let's just do that and go and have a, a look because I have no idea what I'm doing now. Like, I saw the shrine on my way in. So I know there there's definitely a shrine there. But what what is in the labyrinth? Maybe the labyrinth is full of just a bunch of bonus things and this is, like, separate to, to making my way to the shrine, possibly. I don't know, like, no normally in a maze, it's like, get to the middle or get to a certain place, but here I have I have no idea where I'm supposed to be trying to, to get to, and I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to have to have something to, to put my stamina up, aren't I? Okay, that's that's what the food's for, no problem. That's kind of a bit overkill. I might as well have some food as well, because I need to, to get some food as well. So there we go, got my health fully up and uh, my stamina fully up. Uh, this should be enough for me to easily be able to to make my way up to the the top so is anything going to push me down is there going to be a force field or something i feel like it just wouldn't let me climb to the the top like this ah that's what that's what these guys are doing that's why they're scanning to to, to for cheaters like me <laughs> to stop us from cheating and going over the the top that makes sense i knew there'd be something that they'll do to try and stop people doing what i'm doing and just climbing over the the top of it but anyway let's go back to this um this big box then let's see if i can just see where that shrine is then because you'd assume it would be somewhere around here so that's that that middle area that i made it to before where's like the big entrance okay so this is the big entrance here i'm trying to think where from where did i see the shrine when i entered i think it's up there it was in there i believe but it seems to be blocked off now very peculiar maybe I, there is more things i need to do inside let's go and try and climb up to the the top here and let's have a let's have a look up the the top here. So yeah, look. Ah, there's the shrine. I did not see that there's a big old gate above it, and it looks like there's a gate there as well. So maybe I need to to get up through the the underneath there somehow. Hmm, I have no idea. And then what about these things? These are like giant tubes. It looks like I could drop down them. I don't really want to. I don't know <laughs> how I'd be able to, to get out from them. Well, let's go and have a look down this section then. I'm probably going to have to, to drop back into the, the maze because there's probably uh, something else that I need to do down there. But I haven't explored this side very much. So let's maybe, let's drop down now because I am kind of scared of those guys <laughs> going after me. And let's have a, a little bit of a, of a wander down in the, the bottom left hand corner then. And ah! Okay, it seems to be definitely something to do with those those magnet boxes. It definitely seems to be something to, to do with them. Because look, I can pick up this one here through, through the chain, but there's nothing I can really do with it there. I wonder if there's somewhere in the, the middle of this area that I need to, to take them. Because there's those six kind of columns in the, the middle. I wonder if there's anywhere there which is going to, like, I need to place them down. Let, let's go back into the this middle section here and let's kind of have another look around here now we know a little bit more about what's going on. Is there anything? Ah, I mean, there's those areas there. I wouldn't need to place them in there, would I? Like, the, there's no obvious switches or levers or anywhere where I need to, to go and place them down. This is quite peculiar. I thought this was going to be a case of try and make my way to the, the middle, but... There's a, it's a lot more mysterious here than I first expected, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest. Let's go back in this side then, and let's see if we can just get that that big cube. Let's try and just get all of the cubes here to the, the middle at least, and then we can try and work out what we, uh, we need to, to do. I'm also going to quickly investigate up here, because there seem to be openings, and I don't know if those openings are just for if you fall in and get stuck in the, the column for a way for you to, to get out, or if there is anything actually in here. So let's go and climb up here and have a little look, and oh, Okay, I, th I think maybe this is just for <laughs> if you did do what I did and got and was silly and got stuck here, so you wouldn't just end up being stuck in there for forever. <laughs> right then, let's go back in this side then, because this is the, the side I've explored the, the least. And let's see what else we can, uh, we can find. Unless there was another area in that, that middle section at the, the top where I needed to place them down, 
I mean, if there was something like that, it wasn't obvious. It definitely wasn't obvious if there was something like that for what I need to, to do. But on the bright side, there is a, a whole bunch of loot that I'm just finding through here. So even if I don't even get to that shrine, it probably would have been uh, worth coming here anyway, uh, just to be able to, to get the loot. But soon as I am going to be doing a lot of running around in here and just trying to, to work it out, I'm going to speed up the, the video so you can still see what I'm doing. Uh, but uh, basically, it will all be sped up. So hopefully I can kind of work it out. And yeah, and I can see what the, the mystery of this labyrinth is. Okay, um, welcome back. I think I might have found an entrance to the, the middle section. So I kept looking at the, the map and I realized that this whole area here, there's no way to get to it. Like it doesn't link up with anything. So I just tried climbing over the, the wall and there was a ladder which is leading me through here. And ah, it looks like I might be able to go up there if I if I can burn that. Or oh, do I still have my do I still have my flame sword? I wonder if I can use my, my flame sword on this stuff to, to burn it. I can't really, like, do flames up, but, ah, oh, no, I don't have, I don't think I've got anything on me that I can, oh, do I have flame arrows, maybe? Maybe I could burn up that way, so, I'm assuming there's got to be another way to do that, like, maybe there was a tunnel under the ground, I still don't know what was going on with all of those, um, uh, those giant bricks I was finding over the place, I never found a use for them, but, <laughs> I'm sure they're, they're used for, for something, but I have no idea what. Uh, anyway, it looks like I, I can go up the stairs there, but I don't know if I was supposed to have come down this route or something. But yeah, let's uh, let's go up this uh, this sneaky path uh, instead, then, shall we? And so it looks like we're well, we're above where we were before when we found that chest by the looks of things. And whoa, hello! Do I have um room in my inventory? I do. What is this thing? A great flame sword. This magic infused great sword was forged in the fires of Death Mountain by Goron Smiths in an ancient age. Uh, attack when the blade glows red to expel flames. Jolly good. Well, that was definitely a <laughs> that was definitely worth coming down here. So yeah, if you play the game and you do the the labyrinth, don't forget to, to come this sneaky bonus route to, to get the the flame sword. A very fancy. Anyway, let's carry on going up the the stairs then, shall we? And let's see um. Let's see if this leads to the the shrine. We saw the shrine in the the middle behind the the gate. So there's got to be there's got to be some way to to get to it. I assumed we were going to get to it from the underneath because it looked like there was a, a gate in the the floor underneath the shrine. So is that where we're heading? Oh no, we're here. Okay, I wonder what I wonder what's down there. Then there's just a giant drop <laughs> underneath there. <laughs> this gate is still sealed shut, but it looks like there's. Another path that was leading down that way. And I don't know if that's going to go back to, to kind of where I came from before. Or if there was another way to, to get here. I love these just really mysterious things that you just arrive at. And you just have no idea what is going on. And you just need to, to kind of try and work it all out. So, Trial of the, the Labyrinth has been complete. So, I'm assuming this is going to be one of the, the shrines where it just gives me a present at the, the end. Just like, a, I call these... um. I'll call these pat on the back shrines. These are shrines that don't have any challenge in. They're just a pat on the back and a well done for doing something good. I'm going to get in here and there's going to be a huge boss fight now after saying that, aren't I? But nope, it's a pat on the, the back shrine and my reward is... I want a shield. Give me a shield. Ooh, 
Even better, oh look, it's an attack up helmet. A helmet once worn by the warriors of an ancient warlike tribe from the Faron region. Wearing it draws out your inner animal, increasing your strength and battle powers. Right, I'll definitely take that over a shield that would probably uh, broken really quickly. <laughs> so how much defense? So it does uh, 11 defense, which is kind of the, the same as my hood anyway. And it puts my attack up. I mean, I look a little bit silly <laughs> wearing it, but yeah, this is awesome. This is amazing. And don't forget, I will be able to, to upgrade it even more to make it better uh, from some of the, the great fairy fountains. So uh, I still need to, to save up some uh, some more rupees until I can unlock the, the next one. And of course, I got a, a spirit orb. And that is my fourth spirit orb uh, again, which means I'm ready for a, another upgrade to, to either my heart or my stamina as well. Everything's looking good right now. Ah, right then, let's uh, let's go and make my way out of the, the labyrinth. And um, I guess I need to decide what I want to do. I want to see Kilton again. Uh, I want to go and head to, to one of the, the villages at night. Because uh, apparently he's going to be hanging out around there. And I want to see what he's all about. Because I still don't know what he's all about. And oh, the gate's opened. And oh, the gate to down there's opened up as well. But there's a bunch of like air flowing out of it. Is there an, an opening at the, the top? There isn't. Hmm, let's, uh, let's go and investigate down here. I, I want to go down gently, so I'm trying to use my paraglider, but it keeps <laughs> boosting me back up again. And oh no, there's guardians. Are any of these alive? <laughs> I don't like this room. <laughs> Maybe I should have got a shield instead. Right, well, there's a chest there. What are the chances one of these is going to wake up as I go to the chest? This is terrifying. Which one is it? I think that one. I think that one's going to wake up. That, one, that one's got all of his legs. Are we okay? Any of them going to wake up? Okay, I got to the, the chest, okay. And whoa! I got something, I got a, a diamond circlet. Am I going to take that, that helmet off already? A luxurious headpiece sold uh, at Gerudo Jewelry Shops. It's decorated with a diamond which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies. Right, I'm going to put that on right now instead of this one because <laughs> I am surrounded by ancient enemies. Right, this one, this is the one that woke up. Oh no, oh they've all woke up. Oh no, 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 what am I going to do? Run away, run and, run and jump. Whoa, I'm getting out of it. I am getting out of it. I am not going to face them. I was going to battle, but I've changed my mind. And oh, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> I thought it was all going too well. Right, let's eat something just to put my defense up. Just so I can survive from here. That was brutal. What? What's going to put it up by a bunch? There we go. This is going to last eight minutes and put it up by a, a whole bunch. Well, let's eat this one as well. Let's just get my defense up as much as we can. Because you know what? I'm going to need it. This little um, this little crown that I'm wearing, this little tiara, uh, tiara might help me out a little bit from them. But... <laughs> I need more than that. Right, what am I going to do? I need to run to that, that pocket of air. The problem is, is I need to, to have some stamina when I arrive. Oh, look, I can hide here. Right, they're all looking away. And go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. No, paraglide. Up, I'm up and away. Up and away. Ooh, they were just <laughs> about to, to shoot then. Woo. That was terrifying. You know what, though? If I get tougher, I can go down there and I could take all of them on and I could take all of the, the, the ancient stuff that you get from them. I could do that. Like, I've, I've done the shrine now. I can teleport back here whenever I want. I'm going to set that as a, a personal challenge for myself to, to one day head back to, to go and defeat them. Well, this is cool then. I've got two headpieces to, to choose from, two new ones. I'm going to wear the... Um, the one that puts my damage up for now. Uh, but then anytime I run into a, a guardian, I'll switch over to the other one. So yeah, I'll wear the uh, the barbarian. The, uh, the, barbar the barbarian. <laughs> but let me read it. I keep saying it wrong. The uh, barbarian. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. I'll wear that one for, for now. <laughs> and I can switch to the other one if I need to. But for now, is this gonna is this going to boost me across this way? I was hoping that the, the air would boost me up a little bit more. I'm just going to end up landing down here. Well, tell you what. Let's... um. Let's ignore this and let's just go and teleport to a uh, uh, Kakariko village, shall we? And uh, let's see if we can find Kilton hanging out uh, around there somewhere. So uh, where is that? That's Zora. Oh, he did say he would be at Zora's domain as well, didn't he? Let's go to Zora's domain then. Let's go and uh, visit somewhere, uh, somewhere new. I can just kind of teleport from uh, from where I am, and uh, let's see if we can find him. Uh, he said he would kind of be roaming between those different places. So hopefully just whichever one you go to, he's going to be there. And you don't need to, to work out exactly which one he's going to, to be at. 
And uh, let's see what he does then. He, we know he loves monsters and he, he wants to sell something to me. He set up his uh, his shop. So we just need to, to work out what it is and to hopefully get something new. But that was pretty cool though. I love that labyrinth. I mean, the ending was a little bit scary with <laughs> all of those guardians. <laughs> it's funny because I was there like, which one is going to wake up? I was like, one of them. One of them is going to wake up. But which one? And then it was like 10 of them just all woke up and were all targeting me at the, the same time. I, I got out of there alive somehow though thanks to thanks to a bit of quick thinking and a bit of luck uh, as well was able to to enable me to survive so well we're where we wanted to be but it's in the middle of the the daytime now and actually let's speak to this goron so we need to find a goron and his name needs to end in sun what's this guy called again nope this guy's got the the wrong name not not interested in talking to you blah 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 remember for for building that village we needed to um find a, a Goron that name ended with Sun. Sadly, that is not the, the one that we're after. I'm not really after buying anything right now either. So is there is there a campfire or is there somewhere I can use to to set it to, to nighttime? There normally is in places like this, but this is all like watery area. There doesn't seem to be any fire around. Oh no, there is. There is one. There's one down here. There's a, a cooking pot down here. So yeah, we'll use this and we'll set it to, to nighttime and then we'll have a, a wander around and see if we're going to be able to, to track him down at all. So let's go and sit down here. Uh, we'll sit until, uh, until nighttime and then I wonder if he's just going to show up right in the middle of here or if he's going to be on the, the outskirts or, or something. We'll have a, a wander around. He's pretty easy to spot because he's basically got a, an entire shop on his back. So... <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be uh, too difficult to, to track him down. And I guess nine o'clock is what the, the game considers nighttime then. And oh, is that him up there? I think that's him. I think that's him up the, the top up there. How do I even get up there though? Maybe I should have done this in, uh, in Kakariko Village. <laughs> I mean, I can see where he is, but there's no particular easy way to, to get to him. Luckily, it's not raining. So if I do need to, to climb up the, the wall, I will be able to, to do that. Maybe I can kind of glide in that direction from here and then maybe climb up the, the wall there a little bit. I mean, he's right up on the, the side of that mountain over there, isn't he, though? Let's go and see if we can uh, make, our, make our own way. No, don't dive, don't dive. No, I hate it when it does that. Anytime you go to, to jump off a, a ledge and there's water underneath, like Link's like, ah, you want me to dive in? I was like, no, I wanted you to jump off. <laughs> Let's see if we can just scale up the, the side of this wall here and, uh, and get to, to him that way. And, oh, no, I don't have... I don't have much stamina already just from swimming over here, but we'll see. We'll see if we'll be able to, to make it up. Uh, I do have uh, some elixirs to, to put my stamina up as well. I'm not feeling very confident, though. There doesn't seem to be many places where I can, I can have a rest. Maybe this ledge, which is right above me now... I may be able to, to have a quick break on there. If I can even make it up to it, though, without the stamina going, and I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to end up falling down and drowning. I do, I do think, I think I've got one thing that puts my stamina up by loads. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. Like, it doesn't just put my stamina up. It kind of, oh, no, I thought it was going to give me, like, extra stamina. It didn't. It just kind of boosted it up to, to full, but I needed that. Can I take a break here, though? Okay, I can. I can rest here for a bit, and then I should be okay to, to make my way up to the, the top now then. So yeah, just to fill you in, if you don't know who this uh, this Kilton is, uh, a lot of people just told me about him. A lot of people said that he's by the, the lake that looks like a skull. So I went to, to Skull Lake, and it was a lake that looked like a, a skull, and uh, he said that He's setting up a business, something to do with monsters, and he really loves monsters. And I said, I like monsters. And he said, he likes monsters more than me and got a bit angry and scary. And then he said that he doesn't know where he's going to set up his shop. So he's just going to be basically going in between all of these different places, but only at nighttime. But it's probably going to be daytime by the time I even make my way to him. Maybe I shouldn't try and visit him here. I should do it in one of the other places. But there we go. I was able to, to track him down. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what he has to, to sell then. Let's go and uh, speak to him and see what he has to, to say. Oh, he's got a scary face. <laughs> ah, it's you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as how you're a first-time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to mon. <laughs> to, to mon? <laughs> Mun is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Just kidding, there is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into money. Here's the deal. If you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. 
I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, huh? Anyway, you can spend your mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So, let's exchange some monster parts and you can get some mon. Okay, let's exchange some monster parts for some mon now then. What will you exchange for mon? Um... Uh, let's go and exchange. I've got loads of Bokoblins fangs, so let's just go and just all of them, all of these. How much mun are we going to get? So, how much, how much mun are they worth? So I get 325 mun for, for that, I guess. And uh, what else shall I exchange? Uh, I don't want to do too much. Let's do, uh, well, let's I can, I can do all the Bokoblins stuff because... I battle Bokoblins so much. Like, I know I'm going to get, like, a bunch more of these anyway. They don't seem to be worth that much. But, uh, yeah, seeing as I have so many of them, it doesn't really uh, matter too much. I'm not going to exchange any of these. These are too valuable. Uh, I got a, a few of these. Let's uh, let's do these. So are these worth a lot more? Yes. Yeah, so I think these are worth, like, 12 mun each. Just because they're the kind of more valuable. So tell you what. I'll sell these. And then let's speak to him. And let's see what he actually has to sell. And see if he even has anything that I want to buy. Thank you for converting your monster parts into man. Now then. How can Fang and Bone meet your monstrous needs today? Uh, let's spend some, uh, some of the mun I just made. Your current balance is 562 mun. What monster gear would you like to buy? Oh, it's all really cheap. <laughs> I converted all of that stuff into mud. It's all like cheap. This is like 9.19 and 99 is the most expensive thing. At least I'll have some some spare mun. Right, what's this Bokoblin mask then? Kilton's handmade Bokoblin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute monstrous kind of way. Equipped it to blend in with Bokoblins. Ah, so if I wear that, then I can sneak up to them easier. Okay, that was definitely worth getting. Then we got a, a wooden mop. Uh, just a mop to the untrained eye. It excels at tidying up the place, but it owes its sturdy constructions to true craftsmanship, so it actually has combat merit. Yeah, well, seeing as I, I got all of this mon, I might as well go and spend it then. Let's go buy a, a, a wooden mop. And then this monster extract stuff. This is actually really good. Let's buy... um. Let's buy, let's buy all of them. Why not? Let's go and buy all of them. So we can add these to, to my dishes to make them tastier, which I guess just makes them more effective. So there we go. I cleaned them out. Did you need anything else? You don't have anything else. <laughs> I hope to see you again another monstrous night. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Let's, let's go try my, my new master. How many headgear am I going to get today? I'm just getting loads of helmets and stuff today. And oh, it looks adorable. Oh, look at me like I'm like sneaking around like a mocoblin. <laughs> That is uh, amazing. And whoa, look how pretty Zora's Domain looks uh, lit up uh, at, uh, at night. Anyway, that's kind of me um, pretty much finished with uh, with all of the, the current goals I had. The one big last thing that I needed to do was I needed to, to light up the, the area over at uh, the, the tech lab, uh, which is over. Here we go. There's the tech lab, the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. So I needed to light the, the furnace there, but I don't know where the, the flame is. So I'm going to track that down uh, in between this episode and the, the next episode. Uh, and then the next episode, we can go and fill that in and we can hopefully get some uh, some bonuses there. And how am I doing on the, the money front as well? That's uh, another thing. 262. Okay, I'm not close to, to being able to, to get the, the the next great fairy fountain but oh you seen this there's there's something in the the water down there it looks like i need to to push something into to there hold a second let, let me go up to the the top up here and let me just see if there is if there is something up at the the top which i could use to to maybe throw down like normally these areas you need to like throw one of the the the, the spheres in them uh, in order to um uh, yeah in order to to make something happen so I wonder if there's going to be one at the the top of the the waterfall. Seem to be one of the the most likely options. Can you see any of them around here? Hmm. There's got to be one close by that I can get into there. So yeah, I need to to remember that. But yeah, then in the next episode I can go and light that, and then uh, I might start trying to to track down some more of the the memories. If you remember, I got a, a bunch of pictures in my my album, and I need to try and track down all of these different places. So yeah, I might have a go, uh, seeing if I can find out where any of these are. Maybe the ones near the uh, the the castle, because I can kind of use the the castle as a, a good landmark uh, to try and track some of them down. Uh, but for me, uh, in this episode, that is the the end now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!